Let's play some Creeper World 4. I haven't played this in a while, and I'm just going to pick some random maps is the easiest answer here. Now, i got a couple of things to work with. Ooh, I want some Liftic. Oh, no. I apparently can't connect to this, but I want to do... Or maybe I can? I'm going to... I'm going to try and make this work. Because these things are natural shield generators that might give me some, uh, some small perks. But yeah, let's just, uh, this is the, what's the button to pause or unpause? Shift, apparently. Okay, so I don't entirely know how bad this is going to be, so I'm going to play slightly carefully. Um... as this could be fine but i i generally picked a very hard map on purpose and i think that's going to continuously just be a problem here uh maybe less of a problem for for me overall but it, it means i'm going to be struggling for a while i wanted to kind of get good in my own terms in creeper world and turtle turtle defense games are perfect for me on that so let's get some towers down And then we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's see. Deficit's pretty bad, but I think that's just waiting for these towers to get down. Yeah, this is going to fill up pretty quick, which is an issue. Because, oh god, there's so many things. I'm going to go with the executive decision of making the... Um, making a sniper first. Because I think I'm going to be stuck on this platform for a while. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do much about that. Big fan of the plays of creep and FPS maps. I need to give them a shot. I haven't yet. Oh, until we have the factory down, I bet we can't uh, handle any of the green R. Of course. Well, I guess we'll start building that. I have some, but I'm not generating much. I, okay, here's the question. If I build one of these here, can I get them to hook up? I cannot. However, that doesn't necessarily mean... Oh, right. I don't have to hook this up at all. That's what that is. I'm going to just try and daisy chain from each of these big islands, if I can. I might have to use a porter to connect them, but we'll see what happens. My main goal is just to have enough um, power generation that I can fuel defenses on each and every one of these. Uh, long enough that I could potentially build uh, a network of platforms to connect them together. Because I, I think we're going to be stuck up here. Ooh, that looks like it's going to get bad. Okay, get another one of these. Try and hook them up. Eh, no dice. Oh, and yeah, we don't have. Oh, wait, no, we do have. We do have some red on, so we're kind of good there. Cause I, I want this area if I can get it. pause for a second and kind of build this around because my goal here is to try and cl uh, claim just a little bit of the lowlands we're going to get overwhelmed if I try and take too much of it so I'm just going to take what I can um, it costs a little bit more but my generation's better we want to take one of these mining spots is the answer if I can hold that we might be able to do something with the rest Okay. Can I just jam some of these all over the place? It looks like it. Not perfect. And we're probably going to need some more snipers. Oh gosh, you know what I'm also going to need? Uh, hmm. Uh, 
I might have to restart this. We'll see what happens. That's not too much creep. That's a lot of creep. And once the waves start rolling in, then I then I have a bad time. That's gone. Okay. I'll see what I can do, but I, this is looking a little bit more dire than I thought it was going to be. I think we might have been... Ooh. Okay. Holy smokes. Uh, let's just... Uh, let's restart this one. I'm going to try again. I think we need to fortify this central island a little bit more aggressively. Okay. Select coordinates. We want to be here. Uh, probably just front and center this time around. Makes it easier to cover the whole thing. Oh boy, 3D tower defense. This seems like it would break my brain. It is like a good brain-breaking game, though. The like, Creeper World will always remain one of those, like, peerless tower defense games that nothing ever comes quite close uh, to matching, in my opinion. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's get these towers down. I guess this slows us down a little bit. We'll see what happens. I want to love uh, love the Creeper World series of games. Glad to see you're enjoying them. Oh, I absolutely adore these games. They're incredibly good. I hadn't played them until I think it was 2020. Randomly came across one as part of the... Uh, one of the Next Fest. And I was like, holy smokes, this game is incredibly good. And then I just like got incredibly into them over the course of the year. Played through all of Creeper World 3, 4, and Particle Fleet. Okay. So we're just going to get a bunch of these boyos down first. It's going to cost me a little bit to get all of them down, but once I have it, then I hopefully don't have to defend it as much. Uh, oh, the only immediate problem is I can't... No, we can still get the factory down. Good. I didn't quite think about that. The map looks so nice. I assume it's procedural? Yes. Uh, so there are a bunch of hand design levels that are are available um, for Creeper World. However, um, uh, let's see. However, I've pretty much beaten all of them. I think I have three hand design maps left and I just felt like doing a randomly generated map instead. Okay. I think what we might want to do, heinous as it is, is try and get down into this lowland area and just hold it because if i can if i can take it inch by inch i'll be in a okay spot main problem is just a absolute lack of power and we are going to need missile towers which is something i don't have aren't all of the story driven maps hand designed by the dev yes but they're also the uh the bonus maps which I forget what they're called. The one other thing I could consider could have considered would be like blasting down around here, getting a bunch of mines down as fast as possible and seeing what I can do. Oh. I don't think we want it. Uh, but we actually have eight urns just available at the moment. That is something to consider. Uh, it's structure. Because we're going to want a refinery. It's a little pricey. I'll probably leave it for after we've built everything and loaded everything. Because I think this is going to get kind of dicey. Okay, I can probably get two of these down. Because this is going to get thick and unfortunately my guns don't shoot down. We want to take out this wave a little bit before it gets too high. Okay. Yeah, once this starts flooding into my side of things, that's when this gets bad. Okay. So what do we have here?
Because the big fundamental issue is lack of power. Causes the most issues on my end. I guess I might as well build kind of two guns at a time. Uh, I could also get a... Well, I don't know. There's a couple of different things. Have I tried the perimeter ga games? I don't think I have. No. Oh, we should get a... We should get some missiles down. Oh, well, that... Sucks. Okay, let's just move this guy up. Oh, he can't move. Oh, boy. Okay, can I get another one of these? I can. We're running a deficit of 15. Whew. Are things randomly exploding? So the water destroys my defenses. And all of my towers just based on physical proximity. And I'm almost wondering, maybe what we do is actually, instead of building up here, we build out here, put the mines down for the extra money. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to take this one. I knew this was going to be hard going into it, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's try something completely different. Last time, or last couple times we've put ourselves um, up high, because up high makes sense. I'm going to try and be... Well... I could put myself down, um, up high here all the same. Nah. Now I'm going to put myself here. We're just going to try and take this... This land and get a couple of mines down really quick. Actually, uh, it's canceled. Nope. Let's destroy this one before it gets too much. Nope, that's a refinery. So, mine, mine. We wanna, we wanna full, full mine if I'm going to be doing this. Okay, here we go. Because the mines are going to give us the resources we need. We're going to have to work pretty hard to actually get this functional, but uh, we will not have nearly as much of a, a resource penalty for doing this, I don't think. Okay. Gosh, I forgot how stressful this music kind of is on a vibe, vibe perspective. Okay, uh, let's see. So I'm gonna need guns down, but I think I think I'm gonna procrastinate that. Because our main goal here should be as much power generation as possible. Uh, let's see, put that one down. Put this one here. Put this one here. Okay, we've got one out of two mines. Oh, I see. Let's see. Put this here. The grid is really important to me. For, frankly, uh, wildly superficial reasons. Okay. Let's just kind of plan some of these out a little bit more. Put those here. We're going to be fighting a really tough fight here. Because this is... I, I'm going to get... Uh, don't get too gritty. I, I can't. I can't not. The grid is in my blood. I can't stop it. Yeah, what we want is this. This upper spot is going to be huge. We should get the factory down. 
sooner than later because we're going to need a lot of snipers and uh we're gonna need a, need a lot of snipers and missile launchers to defend this since we're in the lowlands it'll be worth it though okay put this here okay good looks like you can get, get another one and we're generating twice as much as we had last time. So that in and of itself is kind of a huge plus. Uh, let's pause for a second. We might want to get the urn portal down out here. Yeah. Let's wait until some of these mines are done. And then I think we need to panic and get a bunch of guns down before before I even mess with the. Oh yeah, yeah, it's coming. Okay, at least I've got a gun over here. This is going to be a bit more expensive, but once those mines are down, it's going to drastically increase our defensive capabilities. All slow. There it is. Yeah. This is it. I was going to be a hill turtle, but I don't think being a hill turtle is as practical as I'd like it to be. Sometimes it's the only way. But I think for a day like today, I think I can do other things. Okay, so next up, we need to have... Snipers on this hill. Which, in retrospect... I should get a pylon down. better resource distribution and also probably like some missile launchers because I think this upper hill area should be kind of my best last stand location or not last stand first defense I'll try and take the other one if and when I can too okay well we're holding well, we're holding. Nothing's attacked me yet, so of course we're holding. At some point, I'm going to have to uh, turp this around so it's a little bit easier. Okay, anything else? Kind of yes. I think what I want is a couple more cannons right here. If I can take them. Uh, let's see. I remember the hotkeys for this game. That actually is a bit of a surprise. Uh, do I want to put that there? No, that seems like a really bad idea. I'll put it here. Okay. Oh. You know, other immediate problem with this location. And this hill. Things are going to get... Uh, things are absolutely going to come after... Or the waves are going to hit this and it'll start trying to get over. Almost to the, some degree what we want to do is actually surround this hill with defensive structures on the lowest side. Otherwise we're going to have a bad time. However... Uh, that's fine. We're generating enough. Get a couple of these guys. What I'm going to want to do is probably rush on top of this hillside. Ooh. Uh, let's get a pylon, maybe. Because, yeah, we want to get up here so we can have a second round of snipers. Uh, let's see. I'll get a couple more that are, like, down low. Main issue is just line of sight for them. Makes this a little tougher. Okay. Still not feeling too too terribly bad about this yet. Okay. 
Yeah, what I want to get is missiles and then snipers. Hopefully these snipers won't get overwhelmed, especially if I can get some mortars up on top of this hill. There we go. That's going to be kind of expensive, but once it gets going, I think it'll be safe. This feels a lot better. Uh, I guess next order of business. Let's expand our power generation a little bit. Uh, let's see. Tab. Don't grid too much wander, they say. Grid all the time. It's never not time to grid. There we go. See? Beautiful. Yeah, this little lip here provides some decent, uh, def uh, decent defensive spots. So I might actually be able to take this lower area as well without too much issue because it's not, it's not flowing into the zone particularly aggressively. There we go. So I can I can handle this. How's this looking? It's a wall. But it's not too bad. So I think what I'm going to do is just slowly start inching up on this side and take it. Uh, did I get the urn portal down? I did not. So let's put it in this corner. Ah. <sighs> Okay, because yeah, getting an urn port down wouldn't be a bad move. Let's take a look. Other things we want to do, well, this hillside's got some space on it. And so does this one. We're just going to go kind of aggressive with our mortars up, up high. And then we'll start thinking. Boy, that's a lot. But that's why I play this game. Uh, let's see. Okay, generation is fine. Uh, this might get got before it gets built. Might have overextended. I'm going to put like a pair of mortars down. And we're going to float them a little closer just so we can take out some of the density. Should be bad. Ah, Creeper World. Such wonderful fluid physics. I... I had never known that the developer of Creeper World had, like, done fluid physics modeling, I believe it was, um, prior to making the Creeper World games, and I don't know. I just thought that was re that that's a really neat feature. Let's just grab those four. I don't think we need movement speed or build speed or anything like that, so we'll just grab those. Let's see, why are you still playing Mindustry? Uh, I'm waiting for whatever the new big update is. I know there's I know there's one kind of looming, and that's when I wanted to get into it. I wouldn't mind putting some more time into it. Um But I remember the last time I played the nuke my mods and I was like, no, you jerks. And I haven't quite been back since. I probably I probably should give it a shot. I mean, it remains probably one of the best tower defense, turtling, base automation, whatever games I've ever played. I think it's actually quite cool. Okay, so what do we have? So we do actually have access... What the hell is a sweeper? I've never seen that one before. And we do actually have access to uh, quite a number of... Uh, super things so we can actually make the airship if I wanted to the rocket uh, all of these yeah I, I turned those on I usually don't bother sweepers are sick good to know requires liftic which is kind of unfortunate but that's fine we should be able to should be able to refine this stuff easy just actually have to make a refinery Alright, how we looking? I really hope, uh, I, I almost wish Knucklecracker added, like, a, uh, a crossover DLC option for, um, 
for their games. Because I would, I would adore being able to, um, like, plug in the Creeper World, or not the Creeper World, the Particle Fleet soundtrack to this. Yeah, Creeper World, uh, Creeper Day, nice. I had to forb forbid myself from playing this, it's too addictive. Oh, it's so good. We're actually doing way better than I thought. I mean, the first two rounds of this were a little spooky, but at this point I think we're, we've hit that nice, nice comfort level. Going for the mine immediately was the way to go. I've still got four urns. What do we do? Urn what? See, the mods for Epic have been updated lately. I'm itching for some more videos from you on that one. Ooh, I should check. I will admit I don't generally do a whole lot of series that often anymore. Um, so that one's a little tougher. But I did really enjoy Apico, so I wouldn't mind doing it. I think part of it is uh, I want to start messing around with more like edited goofy videos. And so I think Apico would be a good opportunity for me to play in that space a smidge. Let's see. But I just need time to do it. Okay, I'm going to get... I, didn't, I don't think I see anything that's been destroyed. We're going to get a pair of terps down. And we're going to terraform. Oh, I do not remember the shortcuts here. Okay, copy current terrain. And yeah, we want to flatten this out. Because this is a really good mining space that I currently can't really access. There we go. Yeah, shortish, goofy, edited videos have been a guilty pleasure of mine lately. That would be awesome to see. I'm my main issue at the moment is just you know I'm I'm going on vacation for two weeks in in July and trying to figure out exactly uh, what I can or cannot fit in uh, into my schedule has been a bit of a trial. Um, but I think after I'm back from that, we're I'm going to try and start throwing everything. Everything that I I normally do out the window a little bit. Uh, just to... I don't want to say, like, reinvent myself, but this year has been a little crummy. Uh, for, I hope, relatively obvious reasons. Oh, these are the cannons. These are, these are the guns. Um, and so I, I kind of want to... Uh, midlife crisis myself into a, a better workflow and some more fun content uh, just to get into a, a better healthier position question mark uh, oh we're actually we're pushing them back pretty hard I guess they don't this one doesn't get exponential so I don't have to worry as much we might want to just try and take the whole um the whole side if I can. I wouldn't I wouldn't be the worst idea. Let's do it. But so I think uh some more edited content that's more focused on being goofy wouldn't be a bad idea uh from my perspective just to have some more fun. Obviously I don't want to stop doing things like this where I'm just playing a game and having fun and chatting and whatnot. You know I'll, I'll keep that up but uh I mean some of you guys have probably noticed I, I've kind of slowed down on Let's Plays pretty aggressively. Um, I I want to bring those back too, but in a different way from what I used to do. Uh, once again, more edited videos, I guess. How do you rotate? Uh oh oh to rotate. Whoa, really? That's a weird. That's a weird system. I don't remember being, oh, might have been something else, but I don't really remember, remember, and I don't think it really matters. All right, so let's just slap these bad boys out. I'm going to stop caring about the grid once we start getting into, uh, you know, territory like this. So am I playing bonus maps? I'm playing randomly generated maps. Uh, so there's, there's no level design here. This is just all, all chaos and gun. Okay. 
I'm gonna turn both of these on to earn want. Because I think I can take a tremendous amount of space here if I wanted to. Okay, sniper. Let's see, can I get this? Yes. So I think what I'm going to do is make the most of the shield here, if I can, and put a bulwark in this area. Let's see, Wonder, do you have a creator code where you get a commission of sorts? Not for Steam. I do for the Epic Game Store, which I believe is just Wanderbots. Or is it Wanderbot? I don't remember. And I'm working on getting one of those for uh, for good old games, but I haven't actually... Uh, I've been a little busy, so I haven't actually uh, finished the process of setting that up. Uh, entirely on my end, the good old games people have been incredibly friendly about helping me with that. Very patient. Which is... I don't want to say more than I deserve, but still. But no, I mean, honestly, mostly it's just watching my content and showing up is, is always the, like, number one most helpful thing. Okay, let's just scoot a couple of these guys out. Because I want to take this whole side if I can. Let's see. Before they run out of ammo. There it is. Okay, how's this looking? Honestly, shockingly good. It's going to take a while to start punching into the, the big bits. I could mess with a Bertha if I wanted to, maybe. I think first and foremost, let's uh grab Terraform. Cancel out of that. Let's move these guys a bit closer. Because I think I want to take this space if I can. And use it. The other thing is, we actually have a lot of resources for shield generators. If I want to engage in that space. Which I kind of do, actually. Okay, how's this looking? Pretty good. A little angry. Should be fine. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have... Expanding walls of gun. I'll probably just pull some of these... Uh, redundant guns back. I'll keep this group just in case everything goes catastrophically bad. But we'll see. Is the sweeper up yet? What the hell is this thing? Wait, what the fudge? What? <laughs> Holy smokes! Whoa! Damn! Can I move this? I can't. It requires a hundred to fire. Okay. I guess we need another refinery or something. I know there's some more green R over there. That was the base I was trying to start with. I might go for it, but uh, I think what I want to do is I'll keep this one here. I want to get to like this point and build another one and have it do its its dark business. Because that's... Honestly, that is the single coolest thing I think I've seen in Creeper World to date. Like, the Berthas are fun. That, though... Ooh. I think each green arm mother big crystals can handle too. Good to know. Uh, well, you know, in retrospect, I've got a whole shit ton of guns in here that I don't need to have right here. I 
can scoot these boyos out. Cause yeah, if I can if I can take this space, I will be in a much better spot. Nope, that's the that's the terp. Okay. How's the rest of this doing? Decent. Because our main goal here is to clean up this entire side. Uh, so all I have to have is a line. It'll save me a lot of space. And also gets me a lot of power generation. Okay, move those guys out right there. This up. Yeah, we're good. Look at this. This is why I love playing Creeper World. I love this thing. I want to use it more. Uh, let's see. Do we just slam these guys out? So this doesn't get just blasted? Yeah. Because this thing should really keep the waves off. I haven't really talked about that too uh, too much here, but holy smokes, this really does just handle the whole side. Like, look at that go! Let's see, do I have any surface air missiles? I got a couple. I didn't build too many. Uh, just in the key points where they seemed necessary. I mostly put them up high in really solid spots, but I haven't exactly put a whole lot out here where I need them. Luckily, this doesn't have a whole lot of, well, yeah, it doesn't have that that many air targets to worry about. You know, actually, uh, I've still got a couple of urns left. Let's get one hype, hyper sniper on both of these hills. Damn, watching that beam go is special. Holy smokes, I wish I had that during the, uh, the campaign mode. That would have been amazing. Okay. I know we've got this hill. Um, hmm. This is going to take a while, but I might as well have the mining point be up high. That should, that should do it. Uh, let's see. Where are my terps? Terps. Get them. Okay. Scoot you up. Scoot you up. Looks like we're good. All right. Let's get some more mines up in. Because we are burning supplies. This might actually harm my green R production. Whoops. Is it like X? Shift X? Shift X to destroy. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that gets in the way of my green art production, but mines are more valuable. Okay, let's wait until that's done firing. Get our next one down. Build one more of those right there. Okay. And our next mine. Perfect. That should be a lot of money. Is sweeper height restricted? As in, will it miss the ones under the beam? Yes, it will. Uh, so putting it on the lowest possible land is great. But what I want to do... Oh, you know what I should do? I should get one of those aggro f um, forward bases if I can. I don't think it would be easy, but what I might actually try and do, I almost never do this because I usually work on a line-by-line -line basis, but what I might want to do is find this. See how there's kind of this like lowland area that I can scoot through without a whole lot of big waves coming through? If I can snake into that and put a sweeper in the middle of their base effectively with a ton of defenses around it, I think that might just hyper win this round for me. Not like fully, 
but it'll be huge. Uh, let's see. Okay, do we want to start? Yeah. I'm just going to get a supply of cannons down. There's nothing quite as satisfying as a aggro turret rush into a vulnerable spot on an enemy base. I think we'll start by taking this hill. The other thing is we should probably get some pylons down. Because resource distribution is starting to get a little slow. Okay, how are we looking? Oh, we're looking beautiful. We've we've got a nice, solid, empty space, and look at all these turrets, ready and raring to go. Whoops, might be too many. This is drag and drop. Yeah, what could go wrong? We'll lose a couple, but that's a sacrifice I'm largely willing to make. Okay, good, and the sweeper's done some damage there. Oops. Kind of beautiful. Oh, but we're going to need a pylon if I want to actually re reach these guys. Uh, we might lose a little bit more than I thought here. Well, they've still got some ammo. If I can even hold half of this hill, that's a victory. Okay. Well, I have part of the hill. Because part of it is, there's a totem. If that can get its, uh, the requisite liftic that gets us a shield generator right where we need it to be. And that'll block this off. So does this map get harder over time? Uh, no. So unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, it really kind of depends on your perspective on Creeper World. The levels rarely get harder. It's almost kind of one of those where the hardest couple minutes of Creeper World are the first couple. Where whatever, wherever you put your base and however you put that together, that is the most crucial set of decisions you can possibly make. And once once you've figured it out and like got, um, you know, got your base uh, set up. Uh, it's really the question of, did those initial decisions you made, uh, did they pay off or were they a mistake? There are levels where it does get harder, though. Uh, there, There is a specific uh, type. You'll see, like, um, a multiplier up top. So the way the game works is there is a maximum am amount of creeper that can be in play at any time. Uh, which I think is down here, but I kind of forget. Okay, here you go. So, down here is total creeper. So, currently, it seems to cap out at about 450,000 uh, K creeper, whatever that necessarily means. Uh, what are the numbers on the hill? That is height. I'm currently terraforming it, raising the, the land up so that I can put a bunch of mines there. Because uh, it's the elevation level is too random normally. Or, it it's not flat. And so, it makes it kind of impossible to get things down here. Huh. Those didn't get blown up. Uh, we should probably get a sniper here, though. I'm going to probably move this gun out for another sniper. If I can get him. Okay. Anyway, so Delta, this is the current creeper production. So when it's below the line, that means it's more or less stopped, I think. When it's above the line, it's starting to produce more. So effectively, there's a maximum amount of creeper that can be on the map at one time. And it will slow down or stop production 
uh, if it has reached that amount. There are certain levels where that isn't the case, and the emitters will continuously increase the amount that they produce, but also the maximum cap goes up as well, uh, which is an issue. Does the sweeper move? Sadly, no. What I'm going to do is probably turn it off, uh, turn that one off once I've... Um, once I've moved further out and build a new one there. It's a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Okay, do we want to take this hill? Absolutely. And as usual, some of them may die, but that's hardly an issue for me. I can rebuild them. There we go. Oops. Oh, oh no. Oh bad. I selected too many too many of these and this is an issue. It's fine. I'll lose a little bit in the lowlands, but I'll cut it off before it becomes an issue. Like, oops. Oh well. I've made worse mistakes. I'm just gonna land him over there. Alright, how are we doing? How's Battle Hill? Mostly fine, it looks like we're gonna need a mortar. We're probably going to want to actually use this entire hill as like a giant mortar platform. Let's see. I'm probably just going to kind of flatten the whole dang thing out and make it just like this big plateau to fight. I could probably push a little for uh I could push ahead a little further. But eh. Okay. So instead of trying to move more of my defenses out and opening myself up to to Creeper just kind of slooping through where I don't want it to be, let's make another set. Because yeah, frankly, it's better to actually just have the entire ma uh, map littered with leftover turrets. As far as I remember, there is no downside uh, to having just gobs of turrets everywhere. Okay, so we want to take this spot. And we want to just kind of start snaking in here. Now that we have an interesting new toy to play with, what I want to do is kind of park myself next to the blob nest and this stash, you know, right here, I think. If I can push into that spot. Because if I can take that, uh, let's see. I'm going to take these guys, move them out a little bit so we can get some more Terps. I still hate that name. There we go. Grab that. I will want to flatten these out if I can take them. Okay. Well, we've got that section. Yeah, I'm just going to continuously cannon wave. Or not cannon wave, turret wave my way out. Because these little nodes effectively can hold an entire area. Because the creeper isn't that aggressive. We'll need some snipers, but I'm hoping to move my rage snipers up ahead. Uh, let's see, can I do... There's no way for me to tell this thing to aim for the nearest creeper, is there? Oh, you know what I can do? Let's get one, one sprayer down. I don't need much. We'll just get one bit of blue light. Technically, actually, this would be a really good map for some hella anti-creep. So any love for anti-creep? Uh, it's okay. 
My main problem with anti creep is it costs. Uh, it competes for my energy resources. Let's just do always on. I guess I'll put it right here. Because what we want it to do is just start leaking onto this base. So that the uh, the Terps fill it in. They should. I hope they do. Anyway, so... You know, honestly, looking at this, we totally could get some... Some uh, some more sprayers going on in here. If I do this, how much does this hurt my energy generation? Only by 10, but it, boy, that helps with a lot of uh, anti-creeper. Yeah, so we might want to start working on that. Okay. Here's the thing, though. For me, my strategy always just involves uh, turret rushes into weird, weird positions. Weird and like effective, very effectively um, defensible positions and working my way through it that way. I don't know if it's necessarily better, but I always find anti creep. Whoa, this happened. Oh no. I messed up. Okay. Get a pair of porters down. At least I didn't lose too much. I'm gonna pull these back. And we're gonna get a couple of mortars here. Just so they can shoot the top of the hill. Okay. Let's get this here. I don't. I don't need. Uh, I don't need any advice on how to do this. I, I. I'm reasonably good at Creeper World. I might not be playing the way you want me to play, but I'll. I'll do it. Okay. So this should be enough. Just one Rage Gunner. Yeah. There we go. The issue is the. Uh, the pylon. Uh, got cut off. And that was our, our primary power distribution. But now we're fine. Okay, so let's bring this bad boy back up. Okay, speaking of, let's get an M rift here. It's a good spot and it's super safe. Well, okay, it's not super safe. But it's safe enough. Okay, back to terraforming. And just do that. Okay, so how's this looking? Weirdly fine, actually. Uh, let's see if I can get some power towers up here. If I could take this hilltop uh, comfortably, I think I'd be in a very happy spot. So is there more than one creep type? Kind of yes, kind of no. There's the red stuff that is resistant, and then the black stuff that you can't build on. Um, but there isn't really anything that, like, changes what the creep does. It would be neat if there was more, like, variety in how creep worked. But either that'll be a DLC or an inevitable Creeper World 5. Which, I mean, speaking of... Hopefully that happens at some point and hopefully it's incredible. I think it'll be I think it'll be good I think it's kind of inevitably going to be good. Every single Creeper World game has been better than the last uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, we've we've actually managed to snag like a significant portion of this upper hill area. That's kind of nice. Okay, so how are we doing this? I mean, honestly, easiest answer is just repeated and egregious cannon spam. Do I want to get a third line down? Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Oh, right. I moved all of my... All of my terps. That's why they're not terraforming anything. Okay, so in that case... I'm just gonna flood a bunch of anti-creep down from the top of this hill. It acts as equal parts safety. Oh, collect his ore. That's interesting. I don't remember that being a feature earlier. Yeah, let's just get a couple of these just everywhere and just have this entire area just be gouting anti-creep. Cause that'll make the uh that'll make the terp work way, 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 way faster. Oh, right. It doesn't go through the shield, does it? I guess I could always turn it off, but eh. What are the cheese domes? Cheese domes? You mean the uh the blue things? They're shields. Unless there's something else that is also a cheese dome, at which point a boo? Oof. This is rough. We lost power for a second. Which means what I should probably do is actually get some alternative power sources to kind of cut through this area. Yeah, lost some bad boys there. It's fine. Okay. A rage gunner? Yeah. Move it up. Let's see, get pylon. Where is my nearest pylon? Ooh, a distance away. Yeah, that would explain some issues. That should speed it up a bit. Especially with him. Okay, cool. So did we get the next group? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to slap these guys up here. Give them that. We're still kind of trying to get out here. We're so close. Because this is that original starting point that I wanted to go for. So does the creep have water-like physics when it flows, or is it just a spooky blob? It has water physics. It's it's definitely a little bit more viscous than full water, but you can cause it to ripple. Uh, so if you notice this thing, uh, stashes, uh, the way stashes work is they specifically collect uh, creep. Here's one in action. So it builds up like a large supply, and then once it hits a certain height, all of that uh, then turns into creep, which causes it to ripple out uh, in kind of a splash and that's how it flows a little faster and gets these really really high uh, peaks that are quite hard to deal with actually <coughs> that's awesome it's so cool uh, like I was saying earlier I'm pretty sure the guy that made this game modeled fluid dynamic uh, like modeled fluid dynamics when it uh, like prior to making these games so uh, there's kind of a reason why it's so good let's see what are the red rocks uh, they're called red eyed or uh, red on or they are used to power the um, 
a couple of different things. They power the shield generators. Not these ones, uh, the mobile ones that I haven't built any of. They also power or let me build things like the micro rift, which instantly transfers resources uh, from one end of the map to the next, which I just realized you need to actually have two of those for them to work. You know, it's been a while. There we go. But so without the red ore, I cannot fire missiles, which means I have no anti-air, which gets really bad really fast. Uh, let's see. We should probably get a couple of snipers up here. Just so we don't get bugged. There we go. Alright. Time for a rush. How far do we want to go? Let's take this hilltop if I can. Then at some point I should actively try and take this area too. Ooh. What's the sniper rifle looks like? Ouch. Okay, grab one of those. And then do I have... Yeah, I have enough red. Let's get an M Reft here, just so we don't have to wait for anything. Okay, here we go. So is it sweeper time? We are so close. I'm, I'm trying to get it as close to their base as possible, because it seems to have range limitations. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to just move this. One of these guys blew up. There we go. Click delivery pad. Move it here. I think I'm going to be able to get a pylon out. This looks like it's going to be a little worse because this is a lot deeper. Uh, so I might not be able to get full coverage that I'm looking for. But if I can just hold a smidge of this area. Then it's worth it. Did we hold? Kind of did, kind of didn't. Okay, let's get that. Let's get our next rush going. We took it. Just only partly held. I guess part of this is what would be. Uh, this is what the gunner ships would be actually really really good for. But eh, I prefer turret rushes to gunships. Call it a personality quirk. It has unlimited range unless obstructed by train. Sorry, that's effectively what I meant. I wanted to get it as close as possible so it wouldn't have to be shooting around these things. I My brain is, is too busy strategizing, so my ability to properly explain what I'm doing is uh, limited. Mortars are doing good work. Mortars are better than cannons unless you need to keep creeper, or like creep immediately off a location. At which point you desperately, desperately are going to want uh, cannons all over the place. So many cannons. Should probably move that energy pad, but I think once these guys are out of here, it won't be too much of a problem. But yeah, t turret rush is is my my favorite strategy. Ever since that one level on Creeper World 3, I've just like, I don't want to say like owned it as, as mine. Whew. That took some damage. Okay. We're holding. Okay, I'm going to move this this bad boy up. Because he does enough damage, he should probably push them all away. Get out of here. Be gone. Nope, he didn't blow up. 
He's blowing up though. Wow. That didn't work. I guess let's get some uh let's get some mortars in here. It I knew I know taking this hilltop is going to be brutal. Oh, uh, let's see. Move these up here. We have a lot more space up in this immediate area for some sniper turrets. And I should probably get some mortars down. That area getting smacked ain't bad. Uh, or it ain't great. Okay, I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. Okay, we're, we're just gonna turn them off entirely. We're pretty close. What do we think? The problem is being so close to the blob nest it does kind of open me up for some easy hits here. So if I if I put it right here, uh, the main issue is height. I, I still think we want to maybe angle a little bit over this direction. Especially with all this anti-creeper to potentially protect me. Uh, let's see. Speaking of, structure, refinery. Okay, let's, let's actually remove some of these cannons. Or remove. Just move them. A little further out. I want to take this place. So is there game mode where you're the liquid? Yes, there is the play as creeper. I should probably give him a shot. Uh, I just remember people being uh, <laughs> a little too pushy about me playing that mode. And so I just hadn't given a shot prior. You know me. I get grumpy when people tell me what to do too much. Oof. Okay, do we have a second set of replacement turrets? We don't. This area is cleaning up pretty quick, though. Can I take this hill? Probably not with what I have at the moment. Okay. Get that, that tower in. We should probably connect these because I know there's an M rift right here. Okay, and now that we've done that, we can get a second refinery out here. And let's take a look at these. I mean, we might be able to get like one more refinery. But then we'll kind of cap out. Okay, get another one over here. All right. So, I just need to... I need to push just over this hill. Let's get another turret wave. Because I, I don't want to put my big expensive, uh, big expensive toy directly next to a blob, blob nest. That's just asking to get blasted. All right. Oh, 
we lost a little bit. Cannon destroyed, cannon destroyed. Uh, yeah, bad area. I'll make it work. Looking good, looking good. I'll make it work by just throwing more bodies at it. Let's see, do we think I can get this one right here? Maybe. Me or is the creep on the right getting a little far? Well, I never actually expanded this defensive line. Uh, the only reason why this is even limited here is because I, I specifically had um, put a bunch of mortars up here to just shell it and it just can't expand past. So what I want to do is kind of move here, take this spot, then cut right immediately and take it. Okay, do we want to just start building our immediate next turret wall? I might as well. Any, any updates for Snurks? No, and also screw that game. Mostly screw the developer. They went full crypto in a bad way, and I want nothing to do with them. Also, it's super weird to like start asking about other games sometimes in the middle of these. Maybe if something else is going on, but it feels more like you're implying I should be switching to that instead to see if something's changed. The answer is nope, don't want to deal with it. Ouch. This is bad. We're going to lose these guys. The news to me, full crypto? Yeah, he uh, he really started like crypto evangelizing. Let's just toss this here. Ouch, that hurt. Um, I don't I don't know if it was NFTs or if it was just like cryptocurrency, but he specifically was talking about like investing in crypto and a bunch of other stuff and why women wouldn't do it because their brains are wired differently and a bunch of other things. It just came off as freaking not not great. And so like it doesn't matter if the game itself didn't end up with anything in it. The the kind of left swing on a personality, uh, like, for me, the developer of a game matters a lot. Uh, because I, I want to be, you know, lending my time and efforts and voice to somebody that I think is a decent person. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to actively promote somebody that I think is kind of a jerk or weird or, uh, sexist. And so specifically, this guy had a number of takes that definitely had a little bit of a like misogynist bent to them and I was just like you know m this modern day and age no thank you I will gladly pass and so uh, they they got into a lot of arguments with a number of content creators too uh, but the one I remember specifically was he was arguing hard with the developer of luck be a landlord kind of back and forth and it was kind of weird listening to this guy because he was just kind of like he wanted so desperately to be right but all he ended up doing was sounding kind of just mean like it's a fun game but it ain't worth it there's better there's other better games too Ooh. Unfortunately, my sniper is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to do earn want on this one. Our biggest issue is we keep getting... um, We keep getting stunned here, which is not working. And I know you think that way, actually. I have a big reach so that these things matter even more. I think it was back during uh, 2020 when the protests were going on. I got into an argument with another content creator. Uh, and his point was very much that... Content Content creators have no responsibility to their audience. Um, you know, their only responsibility is to just make more videos. Um, and then it doesn't it doesn't really matter what they're covering or or uh, you know what topics are going on or anything like that. It's it's just their their job to make money and be entertaining. Which I think is you know, to some degree, especially if you're having like a hard life, that kind of makes sense. But at the same time, if you think of it on a more broad, like, 
uh, on a more broad social picture, like we are a globalized community. And to some degree, if you just have this like every man for himself perspective, you will often end up with a lot of like really shitty people that are kind of making the big decisions sometimes. And it's not great. Um, that responsibility is one of the big reasons I now moderate for you. That's true. And thank you. Um, but yeah, that's how bullies are made and how a lot of our societal issues just end up. You know, I, I could go through my entire life and point out every single event where that specific mindset was bad. You know, I was bullied in elementary school. But everybody just kind of hand-waved it because, you know, ultimately it, it's not that big of a deal. You just have to put up with it. Boys will be boys and so on and so forth. And always, I always hated that. It was shitty. Um... I think what we need here is just like a, just gobs of mortars. This area is too deep otherwise. And then as soon as we have it kind of petered out, then I switch over to guns on the other side and then some snipers. Uh, let's see. But yeah, make, making the content is half the equation. Who does he think uh, consumes it? Well, I mean, he's a bigger, he's a bigger YouTuber than I am. So like clearly his methodology does work on a uh, purely financial level. And... I just remember being kind of disgusted because, like, this was this was talking about like major things, um, and it's social issues that go beyond just kind of entertainment. And I, I realized to some degree, yeah, it has nothing to do with the games being played or anything like that. But sometimes there are things bigger than just being haha funny and whatnot. That is man boxing, yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that term before, but it sounds about right. Um, but a lot of issues that I've just, I don't know, seen always seem to kind of stem from this like weird lack of uh, feeling of communal responsibility. I think the internet amplifies that in a bad way. Um, where often people feel like, you know, the internet needs to be this like weird, either apolitical zone or like, I don't want to say anti, uh, anti-feeling zone. And so, you know, I was, I was struggling with whether or not I should like weigh in on social issues more because for a while my policy was to not speak out or get involved or anything. Um, and it was, uh, Splattercat was very vocal during that couple of months. And I remember being just so impressed with how... I hate to use the word eloquent, but he made his points uh, effectively and well and passionately in a way that I I envied and respected uh, in a way that, you know, I, I thought was really cool at the time. Uh, just that, you know, a content creator really can, you know, stand up for what they believe in to that level. Um... And so, like, I think my job, number one, is to make people or feel entertained. You know, no matter what, I, I'm never going to go, like, full on, uh, you know, shoving my beliefs down people's throats. But it definitely does feel like one of those where you can't just ignore things that are going on that are bad. Uh, climate change, I know, was one of them. I remember getting into an argument with somebody that was very much in the camp of, like, climate change isn't real. And I'm like, you're a moron. And I think it was one of the first times I, like, truly sat down and just called somebody out for being actually just deluded. And obviously that kind of thing, like, you don't really want to engage in that too much just because it doesn't, like, it's kind of a dark hole and it can feel really good at the moment. But you end up uh, equal parts soapboxing and, and maybe yelling a bit too much. And then that becomes your brand and then that's not cool. But at the same time, I don't know. It's just, you can be entertaining while also being socially conscious and relevant and uh, present a, a good example for the world and like for your audience. And I, I've never understood the uh, creators that are just full, you know, it has nothing to do with me, therefore I'm not going to bring it up or anything like that. It always bugs me. A little bit when I, I do see the creators that are just fully like so hands off that nothing matters to them apart from the viewership and it's just like yuck but then again I think those are just kind of the people that I don't think I'd ever get along with anyway 
talking about current events during Creeper World? Uh, a little bit. I, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it today. Today is actively like... <sighs> today is me actively trying not to, to some degree, because I don't... I don't want to spend the whole day talking about Roe vs. Wade, because I I know I am heated about it. I had to start streaming so I wouldn't just keep being angry about it, but I'm still angry about it. So where am I going for the holidays? I'm going to Minnesota first, and then I'm going to New York. Uh, we're visiting my, my 100-year-old grandmother uh, to go see her, because I haven't seen her in quite a number of years, and would like to see her again uh, before she you know, passes away, of course. Obviously, that's kind of a dark way of putting it, but when you get to be that old, it's just kind of inevitable. My wife lives in Minnesota. Hey! <laughs> There's no way. No, no way. Uh... Uh, sorry. I have, a. Uh... I have a cousin in Minnesota whose wife lives in California, uh, but my, my cousin is a doctor. And I was just like, it, there is a very, very infinitesimal chance, but it would be hilarious if my cousin-in-law watched my content. I doubt it's the case. Um, but you, you said that for a second, I'm like, well, I mean, it could happen. Who knows? It, I, weirder things have happened. My roommate in uh, freshman year of college uh, lived in the same hometown as me. In California but neither of us knew each other and I had moved away years and years before and it was just <laughs> uh, it was just a weird moment I've had a couple of those just over the course of my life and I'm just like well I mean it could happen It'd be wild uh, one of my brother's kind of stories about me is uh, he was in a car talking to one of his friends about a game or something and they mentioned they were watching a youtuber play it my brother uh, watched my content to some degree at the time, and so he knew I was covering the game, and he was like, you mean like Wanderbots? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I watch Wanderbots like all the time. And my brother was like, that's, that's just literally my older brother. Um, I always thought that was a, a fun story. I still have not met this friend of his, and I think to some degree it would be a little strange to like, actually meet them, but I don't know. Happenstance is fun. Makes me happy. Alright. We're so damn close. Look at this. All I have to do is get down in this little dell, build the sweeper, and then we just start melting. It's gonna be good. This level took a while, but it feels satisfying. Okay. as the game I needed this week. I've been wanting to go back to Creeper World for a while. Very glad to get that opportunity again. It's one of those where, uh, especially back uh, with my previous more Let's Play style, once I finished a game, I almost never went back to it for like any reason. And it was always a bit of a shame because there's some really good games that like I could play more of, but there's never enough justification to do so. Oh shit, I totally forgot. This game goes up to four times speed. Okay, maybe let's do it at two times because I don't think it can handle four times. Ha, huh, I forgot there were speed controls. That helps a lot. Creeper World Creeper World really has that satisfying thing of slowly inching towards victory on hard maps. Yup. Yeah, earlier when somebody was asking about like increased difficulty level and I'm like, I don't know. I think this is uh, plenty hard. Because any harder, and I don't think I'd ever finish. Okay, how we looking? Uh, oddly? Safe. The next order of business would be getting a couple of snipers, just so we don't have to worry about any... Any little wigglers come to bite me. Try and move one of these cannons out. Go with that one. This is going to be very expensive and I'm going to be kind of upset if it gets blown up. Let's get a shield down. 
Let's see, why is the goop uh, in frame rate hell now? Because I doubled the game speed and it can't quite handle double speed. Okay. Uh, can I get a nullifier on top of this here? Yes, I can. Because if I can nullify the blob nest, that'll be kind of handy. Oh, this is going to be so good. Please, please do everything I hope you're going, uh, hope you can do and more. Because if I can get this thing at the lowest possible land, sweeping through this entire mess, oh. Only disappointment is I can't put urn on it. Uh, here. Let's give this one an urn. Probably figure out where all the other bur buried urns are. Are there any on this side? No. I know there's one right here, so I should probably go snag it. Let's see, what are my thoughts on Diablo Immortal? I just don't care about Blizzard anymore. They, they are, like, it's not that Diablo Immortal is particularly egregious compared to a lot of other mobile games, in my opinion. I think it's just the latest in a long line of kind of uh, sad losses. But otherwise, I don't want to spend forever, like, talking about that one. I feel like enough people talk about, uh, I, I feel like enough people talk about, uh, Blizzard and Diablo Immortal that I would not be adding anything new to the conversation. I'd just be re regurgitating. Okay, please. How close are you? Oh, that's the shield generator. Almost 500. Perfect. At this point, you just have to concede the Blizzard is just dead at this point. It's kind of sad rather than annoying. I'm really hoping when Microsoft buys them out, they just can the entire um, the entire upper leadership. I'm not holding my breath for that because uh, I would absolutely asphyxiate. But, you know, it's the hope. Because if that happens, then I can actually dive in on, on some old Blizzard products that I really, really love. But on the flip side, there's Path of Exile, there's Grim Dawn, there's Titan Quest. I made a whole video essay on Diablo alternatives. Uh, I, I believe if you Google uh, Wanderbot Diablo 2 Resurrected, you'll, you'll find it. And I gave uh, 10 of my favorite alternatives to Diablo. It's so good. Like, I, I'm really proud of that video. Holy shit, look at it go! Yeah, Diablo 4 could be really good, but just not going to be supporting Blizzard now. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, even if it is good, it just is easier for me to uh, no longer engage with that company in the way that I used to. I used to play endless, uh, endless amounts of StarCraft and WarCraft and Diablo and so on and so forth. And now I will just gladly not... Wait, can I just keep this thing permanently fed? Oh. Okay. Well, first and foremost, we can at the very least get another refinery here. Possibly, I'm just going to get two. Who cares if we end up having overkill? I almost want to see if I can get a second one of these. My hope is that they become desynced enough. Yeah, that might not be possible. Bobby K was revoted to keep his job. But that's currently with the board of directors. If Blizzard buys them out, maybe maybe they get replaced? I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping, but I'm not hoping that hard. Nor nor does it really like impact me anymore. You know, 15 years ago, if Blizzard had gone full evil then, I think it would have really negatively in impacted the games industry. You know, right at the the start of World of Warcraft, uh, or at least like the start of its height, question mark. Um, 
and some other things. Microsoft is very hands-off normally, just like Bethesda. I just can't imagine that they'd be hands-off with Blizzard in the same way. I could be wrong, honestly. I just, who knows? But my my general assumption is that there will be uh, a little bit more restructuring on that that end, and the Blizzard board of directors is just trying to kind of make it as valuable as possible for as long as possible, because I'm sure there's contractual reasons to keep the price up. Who knows? I don't know. But yeah, nowadays, like, Blizzard is largely a non-competitor in the games market at this point. Like, sure, yes, they have one of the best online uh, online competitive card games, but there's Runeterra, which is not bad. Uh, First-person shooter-wise, I mean, Riot has effectively replaced Blizzard in a lot of ways. The only thing they haven't done is a full RTS. And even then, RTSs are kind of... I, I don't want to sound dismissive, but they're... There has not been nearly as much innovation on the RTS side of things uh, for a very long time, and that's a bit of a shame. I'm hoping, I'm hoping uh, some companies figure out how to uh, match or beat out. Let's see what StarCraft and StarCraft Two and Warcraft were like. I mean, it's not hard with Reforge. That was trash. I try not to be terribly dismissive of games outright, but Reforge was an, an, was an embarrassment. RTS is my favorite genre. It makes, it makes it incredibly sad. They're in a coma nowadays. Just play Subcom and Planetary Annihilation. Yeah. I know there's a couple of, like, upcoming ones that might be good, but I don't know. I'll just be happy to wait. Especially because I think I played a lot of uh, tower defense, or tower defense. I played a lot of RTS games to get the tower defense feel, and now the tower defense is like big business. Uh, I don't feel quite as uh, as upset about the loss of RTSs. Uh, I'm really hoping these don't end up synced. I want them to. I want them to be separate and split because that would be so good. Uh, let's see. Wait, yes! They are desynced, which is going to make this so much more effective. Holy crap, look at this. I don't think I could run a third one of these. Maybe if there was another green art patch, but I don't see any. Okay. So now I've got to figure out how to actually win this, because... Uh, well, you know what? I think at this point we can safely start uh, pushing hard into enemy territory. There's that. That could be a bit of a doozy. Let's take this one first. Because there's a creeper duplicate. Yeah, let's let's take this entire uh, side. Because Digitalis is a little harder to deal with. And the dark, dark zones are bad. I think what we want to loop around and just kind of trap this area. Let's see. I think like one of these bad boys move it over. Because I believe the yellow... Uh, the yellow can actually take my own. Okay, let's get the nullifier down. Can I get it here? No, it has to be up here. That's a bit unfortunate. But... Now the duplicator is duplicating my own anti-creep, which makes everything a lot easier. Because, yeah, now all we have to do is grab this nullifier, then we just start spitting. Good, and it didn't hit the nullifier. Overload. Oh, I see. Pop these up. Can I grab one of you? Yes. Because I want to get a turret up here and then just a ton of... Uh, a, a ton of uh, mortars up top. Do we have any more blobs? Actually, it looks like we're out of blobs. Nope, there's one more over here. 
Oh, you know what? This area is pretty much useless to me at this point. So, onwards. Valiant firepower. I'm very glad there was a, uh, there's a lore explanation that all of these are just, you know, automated systems. I'd feel a little worse if I knew there are people in these. <laughs> like, not gonna lie, any, any game where it actually has, like, human pilots that I'm sending to their deaths is a little, it's a little bit more awkward, uh, using full Zerg tactics. Not nearly as much of a problem if it's the actual Zerg, though, but still. Oh, they aren't people. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just scoot these in. Because if I can, uh, this is kind of one of my original hopes, was to take this whole ridge. I guess I'm going to push into this a little bit harder than I thought I was going to. Oh, well. See, where are these bad boys? Do I want to put them there? Nah, let's just grab like one. Oops. Yeah, I guess I I guess I'm pressing into this a little bit more aggressively than I thought I was going to, but it's okay. So what's the red stripe in the creep? It makes it resistant to bullets. Uh which is a little hard to work with, maybe. It kind of depends on your perspective. Let's see. Let's scoot these guys up. It's worse on certain levels uh, where you have red creep actually flowing at your defenses. Uh, historically, whenever, whenever you're up against that, you need... I mean, anti-creep is the easiest way to deal with it. Okay, how we doing? Because, yeah, if I can push into this... Oh, only immediate problem is, once again, Digitalis is a giant pain in the ass. Question, does it... Does a shield generator? Wait, wait. One of these... Target priority mesh. Yes, I can break it. Do I have an anger gun? I do. I got a couple. Okay, I want this one to shoot mesh. Cuz what I wanted to do is is effectively wreck all the mesh on the ground. Huh. Okay, it doesn't quite do what I th would hope it would do. Can we not build a shield generator here? Oh, we did. Oh, well. Uh, do we want to make another? Kind of. Oh, my lasers ran out of juice. That sucks. I must have started... Uh... I must have started building it and it got it got deleted immediately. But yeah, I'm gonna try and put a shield down and we'll see what happens. Cause maybe if I put a shield here, hopefully it won't melt. Nope. Absolutely melted. This is going to be a giant pain. Okay. No urn. More urn. And we want to do... Let's get an M rift up here. Somewhere. Right in the middle of that. That way we don't have to worry about resources moving. Okay. That's going to take a lot more time than I want to deal with. So instead, we're going to take these guys. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of turrets that I've just kind of left behind, haven't I? 
Well, all you guys get to valiantly go forward. Can I bring this with? Looks like I can. Honestly, having them there in the, the shadow of the lasers might not be a bad idea. I, I think the big issue with this one is I think I'm just going to have to surround it with an egregious amount of guns. And just make do. Okay. Can I get that down? Yes. I have to nullify the spore launcher. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Not that it's been too big of a deal. So I could leave if I want to. This run has gone on maybe a little long. I think I'll go for smaller maps in the future. I, I do have to say playing this again has been nothing short of incredibly satisfying. Here, let's uh... I'm going to take a couple of these guns down and put them low and have them focus mesh if I can. Cuz yeah, if I can if I can get in here and nullify this. There we go. I think that's good. Cuz conveniently enough, the uh nullified mesh actually makes it so the creepers flowing away. Uh, cause it can't flow this direction cause the, the mesh ain't taking it. Huh, that's actually really convenient. Alright, uh, let's see, next order of business. We have a lot of juice, and we have this hilltop here. Let's, uh, let's bring in the big guns. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna have them go auto. Shoot it, whatever. We'll just make a bunch of Berthas. Alright, how are we looking? Yeah, we've cleared this area out real nicely. E there you are. I'm just going to take this group and send them out. Alright, I was going to put a bunch of mortars up here. Boy, how distracted you get when you're winning. There we go. Yeah, because what I want to do is, is specifically take this. If I can get onto these yellow patches. Oops. If we're gonna take the yellow patches, I can specifically have them duplicate all of my anti creep. Did we get this one? Uh, it looks like we did. Yes. Yeah, let's just send these out. I'm not going to think too much about organization. We just want to have a giant wiggly mess here. So pylons could help a lot now. Kind of. I use MRIFs uh, fairly aggressively whenever I play this, so I'm, I'm not sure how necessary the pylons are in the same way. Can you forcefully terraform whatever's in the way of the laser? Uh, y yes, as long as it's not covered in creep. If it's covered in creep, then I cannot. Let's see. So what do the uh, dark, zones, dark zones do apart from making the uh, creeper edgy? The dark zones cannot be built inside. Which is an issue. Okay, I'm going to start pulling this out. We have so much anti-creep that it's kind of silly for me not to. Okay. Is this all connected? Yes. I see it was just stunned. That's what was going on. Yeah, let's just let's just hook this whole business up. 
You can't nullify in a dark zone? You can, but you need a specific structure. Sorry, I didn't fully explain. Uh, there's a thing called a beacon that pushes back the dark zone. I'm going to put one right there. And then all I have to do is nullify the dark tower, the emitter, and I'm all good. I would look in. Pretty peachy. Because, yeah, all of this extra supply of anti-creeper from the duplicators is really pushing them back. And yeah, not having to deal with the... Uh, the collectors is kind of handy. Alright. Can I move this? I forget. I think I can. I can even move it into a dark zone. I don't think it destroys my... I don't think it actually destroys any of my things if the dark zone covers them. I just don't think I can build or move. Oh, okay. So let's just push into that. But I want to keep taking a look at this area. Those berthas are handy. Push over here. Because, yeah, if I can take out these two emitters, I there's not many emitters left. Like, oddly enough, it's... Mostly spore launchers in the back, which aren't that bad. Have there been any other games today? Nope. I really wanted to play Creeper World, and I'm very glad I've been playing Creeper World, and... I don't know, today might end up being a little bit more Creeper World than I bargained for, but... Maybe that's not a problem? I don't know, I love Creeper World. I love just watching the pseudo-rectangle of goop just go... Whoop. Ooh. I'm gonna just slap a number of these guys right here. See if I can take this area. Hold it. Okay. So next up, we should probably get some missile launchers. Kind of back and around. I don't think we need snipers anymore. We might. But it would be really foolish of me to leave too many of my, uh, you know, these, these big areas undefended. Grab that. Shell that into oblivion. I think we have enough... I think we have enough towers. And those lasers really changed everything. I love it. And we haven't even started messing around with the, the blimps. I think I'll do that the next map, if I decide to do another map. That doesn't even take too much effort. Dang. Okay. Let's just uh, cycle these guns forward. Can that should give us enough coverage? There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's the eggs. That's what's going on here. Okay, weapon. Give me a nullifier. Cause yeah, if I can take out the dark zone and and work my way up to where that emitter is, we can clear this whole area. Ooh. We even have another, uh, Creeper Duplicator over here. How's this side doing? Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Okay, this is definitely where we could use some pylons. Okay, do we think we can scoot in that far? Maybe. The eggs are a little bit of a... worry, but not too much of one. 
Running out of ammo is also a worry, but I don't think that's gonna... I don't think that's gonna last. Okay, move these here. Can I just get a force nullifier in? Yes, I can get in this lowland area. Nice, nice and protected. This area looks hectic in a bad way. Uh, question. Snipers? Would snipers not just immediately start dunking these things? Which, I mean, speaking of dunking, they just anti-creeped this dude to death. <laughs> Normally, I, I have to, like, really work to clear out the emitters, but here it's just like, nah. Nah, just surround it. around it. No mercy. Okay, do we have any other cannons back here? We got this one. Uh, that's bad. We need some snipers out here. Otherwise, this area is gonna get, uh, a bunch of surprise EMPs every couple of minutes, and that's not great. We gotta, we gotta get rid of the skimmer factories. Luckily, they're kind of few, far between, and not terribly dangerous. Okay. Oh, right, I forgot. Digitalis does actually spread my own, my own stuff. Okay, do we have a whole mess of things? Yeah, these guys look like they could they could do with some work. Get them up and in here. Okay, how are we doing here? Well, this area is nice and covered. Uh, let's see, special. We need another beacon. Need more bacon. I think, I mean, I'm, I've been saying we're almost done for a little while, or at least I've been thinking it. But this, this definitely is a lot closer than we've, I mean, obviously, we've, we've almost hit every single one of their emitters and taken them out. Uh, let's put this over here. Get another one of these. If I can get a nullifier right here. Cause yeah, if I could, wait, what the hell is the hole? Oh right, this is where the air sac comes from. Yeah, taking that out is really good. Yeah, I can almost get it. Wait, wait, wait. I can just put it right there. Perfect. Oh, nope, didn't make it. Here. Let's give him something to chew on. Yeah, if I can just have some guns on the ground right in the area. There we go. They can push it back just enough that that nullifier goes down. I want to see how people would speed run this game. Oh boy. That has to be really impressive. I think that about a lot of indie games, frankly. You know, how absolutely absurd would it be if this if, you know, somebody could speedrun this. I still want to see, uh... I still want to see, like, a speedrun race of Phantom Abyss with, like, actually really skilled players. Chances are you just have to have, like, absurd CPM and knowledge on how to abuse it. Okay. Here's the next thing. Where are all my mines? Oh shit, I didn't even build or convert all of my mines over. Here's the thing. What if we had like a shit ton of blue light?
Because I generate... I generate so much that we don't really need... Blue-eyed anymore. Okay. Or, we don't really need energy anymore. So what if we had just like a, an egregious amount of anti-creeper? What if I just won out of sheer just fluid? It'll probably work. Okay, so now that we've gotten maximum ooze, let's get back to taking, taking a look at this. This area looks... I mean, is a bit of a giant pain in the ass. Here, special. Let's get an M rift. Right on top of the mountain. Right where it belongs. If you aren't putting your M rifts directly on top of mountains, what are you doing? Okay. We don't want a shield. We don't want a sweeper. Sorry, we want a nullifier. There we go. Can I? Yeah, it doesn't even have to be that close. The eggs are a bit of a doozy. They're probably going to pop and make this a little harder. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're fine. Alright, cool. And then once we get the nullifier down, uh, do we just make another beacon? You know what? We've got enough. I'll make another another beacon. We'll just scoot it closer. That's the last of the dark zones and boy, yeah, look at that go. Yeah, factory shows a blue-eyed backlog. Yup. I most assuredly did not have this this much earlier. So. I'm just gonna dump. Oh, did it? Ah, I took it out. It was probably the egg. But I guess I can just put that there and it probably still has enough range. I think it does. So is this campaign custom? This is a custom uh this is a custom map, yeah. I just felt like a I felt like doing a totally random map that was not generated by anybody or made or anything like that. Just just pure raw. Nobody's played this before. Nobody can backseat. It's just how how well can I do if I have tons of resources and uh, the enemies are massively overtuned? The answer is actually works out fine. Are you going to send in the snipers? Nah. Nah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pee on them. I'm a juvenile person. I know it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, look at it go. Even if all of these eggs start popping, I have enough firepower to just depower it and enough anti-creeper to just protect me. Change the anti-creeper color to yellow. Let's go. Oh, baby. Let's do it. Uh, where is it? I know it's somewhere. I just... Ugh, God, the UI in this game is like the worst part. I've seen it go by. I just do not remember. Is it under options? Ah. Uh, maybe? A lot of hide. Auto cam sounds kind of interesting. It doesn't look like it's here. Yeah, but that ain't it. 
I heard somebody else say you can recolor things, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it is a thing that can be done. But I do not know where. Because, <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of fun to change my colors. <laughs> Switch it so my anti-creep is the same color as, as creep, just to make my life so much harder. Let me see. Let me just check colors. Oh, it's not in the game. Dang. My disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined, but not because of this. Uh-huh. Spore launcher just puts out eggs and it just does not matter. Okay. Uh, let's not do that. Perfect. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get rid of the these bad boys. They're just going to make a nuisance of themselves. Uh let's see, nullifier, can I because if this isn't right here, it'll be fine. Got a bug bite on my palm and it's like the worst thing ever. Everything is ugh, it's so itchy. Let's see, I don't think Creeper World has that option because it's too complicated in a 3D engine. Nah. Nah, changing changing color for for any of this is would be super easy. The whole thing is problem uh the whole thing is programmatic anyway. Your palm, how? I don't know. I wish I knew. out for a walk yesterday and I guess a, a bug decided to give me a nip. Just there though. Like I've never had bugs go for my hands. I always go for the bigger meatier parts of me and I don't have the meatiest hands but eh. Anyway. AC pull field. What you gonna do now boy? AC pull field. Just absolutely surround it. Peak tower. Peak disrespect. Alright, everything is done. We won. Nothing left. That was a good run. Took a while, but it was fun.